Dear colleagues, it's my great pleasure to present at uh, this panel session. We are living in unprecedented time. By 2022, the number of people over 60 years old worldwide will reach more than a billion people. In 2050, approximately 2 billion. This is an almost universal increase in the proportion of older people. The people who carry chronic diseases associated with aging. We have a need to develop approaches to improve the working capacity and quality of life of elderly people. Uh, because aging is the main risk factor for all chronic socially significant diseases that impair the working capacity and quality of life, such as cardiovascular, type 2 diabetes, tumor, neurodegenerative, global demographic and macroeconomic implications are coming soon. The birth rate will decrease the distribution of material resources between representatives on different generations, the level of labor productivity and the structure of employment will change. And the high intensity, efficiency and effectiveness of medical and social services for the elderly will be required. In the current situation, it is necessary to unite international efforts to systemically combat this problem. One of the stages may be the creation of an international consortium in the field of longevity medicine, which will unite various research and educational centers, biotechnology companies and biomedical startups, representatives of ministers of health, and will coordinate efforts aimed at a comprehensive study of the mechanisms of human aging reducing barriers to the exchange of intellectual property, educational exchanges of specialists. It is necessary to jointly develop mechanisms that allow for the integration and exchange of big medical data on the metabolic and physiological characteristics of the elderly, including long livers uh, between different stages uh, and the different states for joint study, including with the involvement of deep machine learning methods. In this regard, it will be useful to create a distributed biobank of samples of people of wild range of ages, predominantly healthy people. It is necessary to create a comprehensive knowledge base of methods for early diagnosis, prevention and treatment of age-related diseases and conditions. It is necessary to jointly conduct multicentral clinical studies of new treatments for age-related diseases, as well as the preventive effect of diet, exercise, daily regime on the health of the elderly. It is necessary to coordinate international efforts to the development and translation of new pharmacological gel protectors, drugs that slow down and reverse the aging process. Methods for individual assessment of the patient's aging rate, so-called aging clocks, uh, gene and uh, cell therapies, technologies for growing and the transplanting organs from the patient's own stem cells. International ports and exchanges should ensure the training of highly quality medical personnel in longevity medicine, who will deal not only with the problem of helping the elderly, but also with the targeted prevention of the development of chronic diseases of aging in people of all ages. It is possible to create a special educational program for a comprehensive modern approach to the problem of aging and the health of an elderly person separately from medical 
social workers, as well as the elderly themselves and their families. It is rational to create an international research center where international work would be carried out in the field of barge ontology, pharmacology, early diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of age-related diseases. The creation of effective interventions in aging is impossible without methods of individual measurement of the rate of aging, biomarkers of aging. In different people and even in different organs and systems of one person, aging processes occur at different times and at different rates. Aging has many mechanisms at different levels of the living systems. Therefore, the biomarker of aging should be multi-omics and multimodal based on different molecular and physiological parameters and all kinds of cells and organs. A breakthrough in the study of human aging is possible only if large data on the health of many specific people with the numerous repeated examinations begin to accumulate. This task is difficult without international efforts. Therapeutic intervention should not only reduce mortality, but also reverse biomarkers of aging, prevent multimorbidity, improve quality of life, be non-toxic, and have fewer side effects. There is a clear need to develop and implement artificial intelligence and big data processing in aging and longevity research. AI powered by big data analysis will allow us to predict new patterns, biomarkers, targets, or chemicals. The reliability of digital tools is limited by the quality of the data. There are obvious problems with the collecting and validating big medical data. This is a very demanding task because there is an expensive and time consuming and imprecise data source causes algorithms trained on the data to fail in other situations or to make unreliable predictions. Original big data can be obtained by different methods and different objects. There is a problem of data harmonization uh, before imagining or comparing them. We are still at the beginning of the journey. We need criteria for biomarkers of aging and general protectors, standards for collecting big medical data, incentives for market participants to collect and exchange them. Together, a protocol for collecting and analyzing big healthy data on the health of the elderly could be developed. It is worth co-financing research programs for healthy lifestyle and longitudinal monitoring of large communities of people of different ages, exchange of development to combat one of the most serious challenges to the well-being of mankind. Thank you for your attention.